unclassified relics first started to appear after the Proteus wave fiasco. Since then, these strange artifacts have become an important part of AX research. Formed by exposing Guardian relics to Thargoid mothership terminals, the amount of effort and resources required can be significant, so plan on several hours of work to get everything done if you need to follow the whole workflow in this tutorial. The first thing required to make this work is a ship that can handle the journey. Any exploration-focused ship with an SRV bay, corrosive cargo racks, a fuel scoop, and a surface scanner, with enough jump range to plot the routes, can make this work. Engineering and Tech Broker Kit helps this process by reducing travel times and increasing take, but is not essential as it's possible to make a Guardian Relic into a Thargoid one without engaging in any shipside combat, provided you are in solo mode. While Thargoid surface sites are not typically PvP areas, different in-game events can temporarily make them bottlenecks for this process, as these sites can only convert three relics at a time. As with rescue missions, running this procedure in open play risks waiting in a queue that can make you an excellent target for trolls and griefers. If you are lucky, it's possible to purchase many of the raw components required to complete this process from a fleet carrier. Inara's Data tab features a commodity search tool capable of identifying appropriate carriers. This shortcut is low risk, but time consuming, as reliable fleet carriers that can supply these goods are rare, and the market data that leads you to them can become outdated very quickly. It's common for a report to be wrong, or for supply to be exhausted by the time you get there. Assuming you have a good ship or fleet carrier with the supplies to make this journey, then the next step is to locate a site capable of generating Guardian Relics. The Elite Dangerous Utilities site offers a hard list of confirmed Guardian sites which are organized based on site type. Pretty much all Guardian sites and structures produce at least one Guardian Relic. Ruins are wholly abandoned with no hostile local forces. Guardian structures are more compact and have multiple relic towers but also have defensive drones and are typically located in places where large and medium ships can struggle to land. Guardian ruins are far more abundant than structures and can be found in more locations across the galaxy. I favor these for brevity, as some are located near the bubble, reducing travel times for those with less engineering options. Sinufe XR-8 D11-102 is a good choice for its close location and was where I opted to collect relics. This happens to be an excellent site for collecting these things, since it lets you fully load a Scarab SRV with every loop, though you do need to board flip after each loop to reset the Guardian Relic Towers. This is not a time efficient process, but thankfully you only need three relics. I recommend collecting more than three, so that if something goes wrong, you have redundancy and you don't have to fly all the way back out. Now for the Thargoid probe or sensor. Either one of these devices will suffice, as would a Thargoid nexus if you feel so inclined. These are corrosive cargo, so be sure that you have a corrosion-resistant cargo rack. The Thargoid probe or sensor is only required to gain access to the area where Guardian relics can be converted into unclassified ones. To get these devices, you have a number of options. They can be found floating in non-human signal sources, which means hunting for signal sources in a manner that will yield unpredictable results. I recommend visiting a site which guarantees success and can be reliably repeated, so a Thargoid crash site works best. Not all crash sites generate Thargoid sensors, but a good known option is the crash site at HIP 17403, Planet 4A. This is an ancient crash which generates three usable sensors and a small scattering of sensor fragments. Collect the fragments first if desired, and then collect the probes. If you are early in the game and do not yet have sensor fragments, which are a required material for progression in the engineering system, then this is a good time to collect it, as sensor fragments are produced when you destroy a Thargoid probe. 
Professor Palin requires 25 of these fragments for first-time access to his facilities. Even if you don't have Palin unlocked, sensor fragments are an engineering material that can sit in your back pocket with no consequences. So you might as well grab them while you're here and have them when they are needed. Once you collect the first probe, your SRV will start taking damage. None of the available SRVs have any corrosion resistance, so you want to move with purpose after the first probe is scooped up. Quickly grab the other two, then return to your ship. From here, load the probes onto your ship and then re-log to flip the instance. Repeat this process until you have all the probes you want. Only a single probe is needed to gain access and start the unclassified material process, but spares are useful, since the creation process is hazardous. Creating an unclassified relic requires the use of an active Thargoid surface site. These are the large spiral ruins that are scattered around the Pleiades sector. Pay special attention to the active descriptor, as an inactive site will not respond to probe signals and cannot perform the functions required. I used the known active site at MEL22 sector NX-U D2-31, but you can find a list of known active and inactive sites at the Elite Dangerous fandom. To create an unclassified relic, all you need is one Thargoid probe or sensor and three Guardian relics. To access the ruins, an SRV is required. Small ships work best for this process as they can land directly outside of structure access points. The larger the ship, the farther out you have to land and the longer your drive back and forth. A dual SRV bay is recommended if you are working without support from a fleet carrier, as there is a risk that you blow yourself up if things go wrong. After deploying your SRV, and before moving away from your ship's cargo hatch, access the inventory tab in your SRV status panel and transfer one probe or sensor. Then transfer three Guardian relics into your SRV cargo which will fill your SRV hold entirely. Be sure to use the Scarab for this process, as the other Scorpion SRV does not have enough cargo space to be effective. Locate an access point if you are not already near one. If the site is active, the access point will open for you on approach. Once safely inside the door, you can jettison the Thargoid probe. It is no longer required, and can be useful for marking the door that you entered from. The central chamber is where the conversion process takes place, and the procedure is fairly simple. Around the Thargoid device, which hangs from the ceiling, are three deposit pads. Drive onto the deposit pads and jettison one Guardian relic for each pad. You should see the relic grabbed by an energy beam and suspended in the air, if successful. The Thargoid device will not respond to them until the main pod is scanned by your SRV data link scanner. This gives you time to leave the central chamber, which is important, as scanning the Thargoid device will prompt an immediate and violent defensive response. This response phase lasts several minutes, during which the Guardian relics are converted into unclassified relics and ejected from the system. This defensive response causes all scavengers roaming the site to become permanently hostile and overheats the central chamber. This response will kill your SRV several times over if it remains near the Thargoid device. So the best thing to do is exit the chamber and then scan the device from the outer corridor. This avoids the damaging overheat effect, leaving only the scavengers to contend with. This provides an excellent opportunity for harvesting Thargoid engineering materials from the hostile scavengers. The Thargoid structure will continue to spawn them at regular intervals, so it's a great farm while you wait for the defensive response to run out, after which the central chamber cools off and the newly created unclassified relics can be recovered. Scavengers will continue to harass you throughout this process. Once you collect all three unclassified relics, the process can be immediately repeated without needing to flip the instance, assuming you have more relics to convert. Return the unclassified relics to your ship, and collect your Thargoid probe on the way out if you still need it. Unclassified relics are considered Thargoid in nature, but are not corrosive, so no special considerations are required in their storage. From here, 
These relics can be traded to tech brokers, stored on fleet carriers, or used for other potential gameplay functions. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.